No, 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 welcome back. Uh, talking to you guys about some interesting news about a, a little bit about releases and of course a little bit more about uh, Grand, Grand Blue, Blue Fantasy Relink. But yeah, we're talking about uh, did, say, did Brazil release the release of Final Fantasy for uh, 14 on Xbox? And this is kind of coming from uh, the uh, Brazil like ESRB rating um, um, a, a, a agency who's talking about the Final Fantasy 14 Shadow say Shadow Shadowbringer. Apparently, it's a possibility that it might actually release on on um, Xbox One. Now is that is now is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, the only good thing that I can say about it is that the Xbox One is not the PlayStation 3, so specifically, it's not necessarily holding holding like any future DL, uh, uh, DLC back, and it's actually kind of working well with the, like it actually kind of works works within the confines of the game actually being on PlayStation 4, 4, 4 as well. I mean, like the same thing kind of came came about with Path of the Exile for PlayStation 4, 4, which was on the Thai Wendy's rating board and so on and so forth. You know, and I don't necessarily see it as a bad thing, but but again, you know, like with Xbox being like like with this being on Xbox One specifically, does like is this also one of the few games that that people like who have it on Xbox can they also play it on this like can they also use this to play with people on PlayStation 4? That might be a good thing, and I'm actually looking to say like I'm positive say I'm positive on this one, you know. Move say moving on. We also have Civilization VI now. Said so like save. Said so like saves can now be on both PC and then uh, and then and the Nintendo Switch. Now going on with people like who have played so like who have played these civil these Civilization games and they know that they and they know that like that uh the game kind of holds um holds like from from turn to turn like kind of thing uh like it's a turn to turn like kind of game. Especially, especially if you're playing it against other people, you know, and you got to say like you got to go to work or whatever, and then like you just leave it alone, right? Now, now you can take it on, say, take it on to go with you, like with your Switch. The only problem with that is, is that uh, <laughs> the only problem with it is that um, is that uh, if you attempt to take it out like on uh, on your Switch, you also have to have it say like. Um, you have to like have to be logged in like on both what was it you need to be logged in upon the 2k account on both your pc and also your switch so i would say i would say doing that's a bit janky you know but at the same time though it's like you are under like 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 you're you are dedicated like under one account so i can see how like 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 it works out you know but Moving on to my final thing, which is Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. It gets information upon his multi multiplayer storyline, the PC version, and more. And most of the meat of this thing is mostly like lie, lie right here, like like in the middle, middle and whatnot. Where like that they say like where that they do say that you're gonna get an item, like uh, that you're gonna get an item, uh, an item to talk to other members and whatnot. That uh, players like that they're gonna. That like a instead of it being like one grand adventure, I do I do believe players will say players will traverse throughout various stages, stages and other areas. Eventually take on say take on a boss. Boss is a bunch of side quest elements uh, of exploration from, from different areas. So it seems though that we're not gonna get like a full on like okay you're just running running a and running it like a free world RPG. It's like you gotta go into these specific areas together and whatnot, and then, and then, then you get to play around in the area, you know, that kind of thing. And I'm, and it is a bit say, and it say, and it is a bit more for, um, uh, focused. However, um, he did make a comparison to Platinum Games Bayonetta, saying that that um, many weapons, uh, weapons, uh, in that say in that <laughs> they in that title offer also offer a very different play. Uh, play play style in regards guys if you count uh, each weapon type types as a character There'll be plenty of different care say characters for players to tackle unlocking characters will also They will also occur 
throughout uh uh though uh through uh fulfilling different re requirements in the game grand blue fantasy relink will also have four player co-op players will also be able to choose a character before quests quest progression varies uh, it varies. It varies between each uh, each person, and can choose 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 the same character if they want. So, how this is coming off is is that each character, like it's kind of a mix. If I can look at it, like what they're saying is like this is kind of like a Dynasty Warriors game, where that if you want to like attach the weapon to a character, then yeah, like they kind of have plenty of different fighting styles, different abilities, and whatnot. But then if you also switch it to okay now like all like all of these characters they have um uh, i want to say like um they all have their own abilities and their own magic magic and everything thing and you can play it on four player co-op co-op s s s game game and everybody has their own i want to say like uh like uh you can pick the same character you know like this character like is known as as a healer but they got this fighting style 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 and whatnot because they use use the spear i kind of say i say i like it it's make it makes it feel more like a beat em up rather than it being an rpg game but i really can't say man but um i but i really can't make 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 any judgments until i get my hands on the game so so yeah, I'll check that out when that game comes out. I'll catch you guys on the next next John Grave Show. I'll see you next time. Please keep watching anime, keep playing video games, and tell me what do you think about this in the comment section. Um.